People in jails and prisons across America need to have some type of an example about what is the best possible outcome. What's the strategy to get the best possible outcome from their current experience? And that's why I'm so enthusiastic about sharing this course, which is the 10 steps to prepare for success from jail and prison with people inside of the Mecklenburg County Jail. And today we are going to be delivering class number eight. And class number eight is about authenticity. We're continuing to talk about the importance of identifying success with the values that we identify. And we're talking about the importance of setting very clearly defined specific goals that a person can can work toward regardless of whether he is in jail or prison. This is the pathway that, that powered me through 26 years in prison and it's what made all the difference in the world. There are a lot of recipes out there of how to stay on this treadmill of failure that keeps the prison system growing, but there aren't too many examples that people get of how to emerge successfully. And that's why we created this course. This course we call the Straight A Guide and we have been teaching it for the past eight days or today will be the eighth class inside of the jail. And we're looking uh, forward to spreading this po message of positivity and critical thinking skills and communication skills and spreading this across uh, the nation to people in jails and prisons with hopes that we can break this, this intergenerational cycle of recidivism. In today's course, we're going to be talking about what does it mean to be authentic. Uh, our class of authenticity really suggests that it's not a subjective measurement. If we're going to be authentic, this is not something that we can just say we're authentic. We've got to actually demonstrate with objective uh, strategy, with, the, with an objective approach of saying, are we objective or are we not objective? And we identify being authentic. We use our three-legged stool, which is a tool we created as part of this course. Or we ask people, if you're authentic, just make sure that you're following these three legs. Number one, we want to make sure that you have a strategy. That strategy needs to be documented so that you can rest upon it and, and, and use it to defend your actions every day. What decisions are you making? How are those decisions part of a strategy that is going to lead you to the success you said is important to you? Then you need to develop these tools and tactics and resources that are going to help you execute on that strategy that you have documented. Then finally, you have to have some type of a tool that will measure your progress every day. And so it's really important during our one-on-one -on -one breaks we, that we have these conversations with people to, to, to see, are you thinking in these terms? Are you thinking in these terms of the challenges that you're going to face in the future with regard to the people that you're going to meet before sentencing, including a probation officer, including a case manager, including a judge, including all these people who are going to be making one argument against you, what are you doing to demonstrate that you are authentic and you are actually worthy of leniency or mercy if you've pleaded guilty? Or if you're going to trial, what strategies have you taken to make sure that the jury is going to find that you're not guilty of this offense? So regardless of which decision you approach, you've got to be authentic. And the same thing goes for after sentencing. If you have already been convicted and if you are facing a sentencing hearing or if you've already been sentencing, what strategies are you pursuing to demonstrate your commitment to overcome this challenge? Because there are going to be challenges for anybody who's come into the criminal justice system. And through this course, we're striving to show you how to be successful or how to prepare for success even if you're in jail or prison, so that when you come home after release, you don't have to struggle through the challenges that complicate life for so many people who have gone through the criminal justice system. It's really important that you are authentic and you do that by, by building this strategy that you document, by creating tools, tactics, and resources that will help you execute on that strategy and that you measure your progress every single day. And so during the remainder of the course today, we'll be using some case studies. Previously, I used the case study of McDonald's showing that there's no question that McDonald's is the most successful hamburger distributor in the world. It, it is not maybe the best hamburger in the world. I think that very few people would say the best hamburger they ever had was at McDonald's. But because of their authenticity in documenting a strategy, in creating tools, tactics, and resources, and measuring progress, you know that if you get a McDonald's hamburger in Charlotte, North Carolina, or in Louisville, Kentucky, or in Portland, Oregon, they're all going to be very close to the same thing. It is because they have a very documented strategy with they, they know what 
they're supposed to do at every stage in the proceeding. It's no different for us. If we're going to build a successful career, if we're going to build a successful life, if we're going to become more physically fit, more successful financially, we should be also pursuing this pattern of demonstrating an objective pursuit of authenticity. Not just saying we're the real deal, but actually showing it and being able to defend it. We want to be able to do that with the staff we encounter in corrections. We want to be able to do that with people that will have a vested interest in our success. If we're authentic, we make it much easier for people to believe in us. We make it much easier for us to be able to find and cultivate mentor relationships with people that will help us and, and, and assist us with either sharing their wisdom or their knowledge or giving us guidance or opening introductions to other people. This is how we network. We don't say that, that it's the people that we know that lead us to success, we create a documented strategy that is going to help us open those types of relationships. And that's how we develop our business. That's how we develop our careers. That's how we develop our relationships. It's even the pattern to stay more physically fit. If we know what we're going to do every single day and we do it, it becomes like a routine for us, just like brushing our teeth in the morning. If we know what we have to do, we stay on track. We're less likely to be distracted by the shiny object syndrome and we we move closer towards building the success that we've said is important to us that's the strategy that we teach in our course i'm really looking forward to to getting through it today with with people inside of the jail our class begins at, at uh, 6 a.m pacific time uh, 9 a.m eastern time and it lasts for two hours but during those two hours i'm really looking forward to getting engagement with the people and doing the best that i can to teach and inspire them on uh, the strategies that will lead to their success before sentencing after sentencing while they're going through prison and most importantly help them come back to society as law-abiding contributing citizens living lives of relevance and meaning and fulfillment